The postal system is overwhelmed at the moment and so things are taking a while to get here. I actually ordered this around the same time I ordered this. But I've had this for, for a lot more time already. This came internationally, this was from a local vendor. But they could actually be the same machine. This is the HSP or RGT 136240V2. It's a 124 um, split transmission system and going by the website and by the box, it's remarkably similar to the Enduro 24, which we reviewed recently. And I really like this little machine. So let's get this thing open and we'll see just how similar these are. Are these a brother from another mother or did they come from the same factory or are the images deceiving and are they actually completely different? I don't know. I've been into the lossy 124 scale stuff for years and I've enjoyed playing with them for nearly a decade. So when the SCX24 was first released, I thought, you beauty, there's a new version of this kind of thing. Let's check it out. Now, I was disappointed that this thing was so similar to the uh, 10 year older lossy. It's got worm gears and it's the same center mounted motor. This was an unfortunate uh, machine, I think. It, it could have been much more. Now this, the body is nowhere near as attractive as the Jeep body. It really is a bit of a generic toy looking thing. But the one thing I like about the 124 scales is you can replace the bodies with something much nicer. You can buy a kit, a body kit of some kind. You buy a full little uh, static model and you can replace the toy looking shell with something nicer. So that's something I really like about the 124 scale rigs. So the toy body here doesn't particularly bother me. It doesn't look anywhere near as nice as the Jeep, which is the SCX24, but it's what's underneath that I really like. It's the front mounted servo and motor, the separate transfer case, and the standard ring and pinion diffs. I really like that. So given that the RGT 136240 looks similar on paper, I'd like to know just how similar it really is. My feeling is that these are going to be a really similar package. I don't know that, but I suspect so. Enduro 24 charger. Yeah. RGP charger. Even the sticker on it is the same. Look at that. So these, I have got a feeling, are from the same factory. <laughs> so do I just be cheeky now and end the review here? Um, and say, if you want to know what this is like, go check out the review for that. Well, I could. If you want to know what this is like, go check out... No, just kidding. Um, this thing is a little different though. For a start, it's got this weird exo-caged RC body on it. It, it actually has a, a nice protective cage. Different box art, different body, but we have two of the same crawlers. Okay, so the wheels are different. That's... This is the Enduro 24 wheels and that's obviously the RGT wheels. So they're different, um, they, they feel the same. The tires are the same and they're okay. I actually have these Endura one inch uh, and they're bead locked in metal. They're actually quite nice. So I've stuck them on, but these wheels are the same as, as these. Uh, and now we're gonna open this thing up. The pins come out nice and easily, which is good. I really quite like this body and you get an extra wheel on the back. This body absolutely destroys the Enduro 24. It's so much nicer. And you get nice long body posts. But what I was interested in, aside from the battery, which is also a 520 milliamp hour uh, 1S battery, just how different are these machines underneath? Okay, so the stickers look different, but the gear looks the same. The springs, are the same. The dog bone and uh, cup mechanism is the same. That is metal. This is the same machine. So if you want to know how this performs, honestly, you can actually check out my Enduro 24 review because it's the same machine. The price, it was about 30 bucks less though. The key bit of information I don't have is who copied who or is there a is there an agreement in place? Because if they're, if they're just sharing the machines and uh, branding differently, more power to them, you know? Uh, but if someone's ripped the other one off, well, that's a different story. I'm just looking uh, extra closely at, the, uh, at every little bit of it. And I see no difference, even down to the rubber bands holding the batteries in. So we have the same machine here. Interesting. Well, if you're in the market for a 124 scale, let me try and direct you to something that has a separate transfer case. 
which is unlike the uh, SCX24, but you've got your motor mounted in the middle and it's a smaller motor. These long motors uh, have more torque, uh, even though the speed might be the same for the same windings, which they won't be. These have more torque necessarily because you've got worm gears in these, in these diffs, whereas these don't. So I like this layout. It's a shame the SCX24 didn't do that, but the RGT136240 V2, though it's a mouthful, I think might be a pretty good deal if you're looking at 124 scale vehicles. I'm, I think I'm quite safe to assume that they're gonna handle the same since they are basically um, the same. Very likely, I would say, even from the same factory. The markings on the top of the servo are the same. The cut locations on, on the plastic, on the molded plastic's the same. Even the stickers look the same, aside from uh, coloration and, yeah, it's just coloration actually and font. I'll link you now to the Enduro 24 uh, review if you haven't seen it and you're interested in how this handles because although it's going to be very slightly more top heavy, very slightly, this is lightweight plastic and so they're going to handle almost identically. Um, I can tell you from having tested that one, this is a nice little platform, the radio is quite nice in the hand and it goes quite well. And being a 1S battery, this thing will last for ages, you've got plenty of battery time on it, uh, it'll be a satisfying little machine to use. Okay, so the RGT gives you one more thing that the other one doesn't. Can we get to light up? <gasps> so when it's reversing, you get red lights. It's a shame they're not white, since they only come on when it's reversing. When it's going forward, the headlights light up, but it's only in reverse do you see the red lights there. They should be white for that. I wish they were on all the time. Maybe I'll change the wiring for that. But that's one feature and a rear bumper because it goes with the body that you don't get with the Enduro 24. So you actually get more for your money with the RGT 136240V2 than you do with the Enduro 24, despite them being clones. Well, that, that settles it for me. This is the box. It comes in a few different colors and they have a few different bodies for it, but yeah. Assuming there's nothing morally or ethically questionable about this, assuming they're not cloned, well they are cloned, but assuming they've not stolen the IP, and I don't know whether they have, but if they haven't, buy the RGT. This is a really nice machine. And it's got more features than the Enduro 24. I didn't expect that. So how about that? Less money, more truck. And a much more decent looking body, honestly. Yeah, well that's my pick. Get the RGT, how about that? So that's two RGT trucks I've done recently that have been quite good. Cheap and surprisingly uh, well featured. So that is super interesting. It's really stable, it surprised me on these rocks. I'll catch you next time on RCTNT.